Oh hi guys! Welcome to the first video of Plant Titties and Knobs. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk to you guys, to you guys, about clear pots versus black pots. Yes. Now, a few weeks ago, I got this philodendron silver cloud, this gorgeous boy right here, and I immediately potted it in this clear pot. And at first it was going all good and nothing was happening. He was happy and stuff. And then maybe five days later, the edges started yellowing. As you can see, it's yellowing on the edges quite a bit. Um, I contacted the seller, his name is Chris. Thanks Chris. And yeah, he advised me that it's most likely because it's in a clear pot and a lot of condensation happens since, you know, it sits right next to the windowsill, it's the sun's hitting the pot and there was a lot of moisture going on. So it wasn't really drying out in between waterings and yeah, it was just staying too moist and too warm in there. And also these guys are crawlers, which means their roots like to be under the ground like this and their roots aren't usually exposed to the sunlight. So they prefer to be in op opaque pots like black or yeah, whatever, just not clear. Um, also my other philodendron as well. I repotted this guy in a black pot as well and he's doing really, really well, really well. A new baby coming out there, little knob. Um, yes, yeah, so he's very happy. Um, and yeah, after I potted him in the black pot, the yellowing stopped, the new baby has unfurled. Oh, so gorgeous. And there's a new shoot coming from there, if you can see, is it focused? Yes, so yeah, he's very happy. On the other hand, Chris said that climbing philodendrons or plants don't mind being in clear pots because their roots are exposed to the atmosphere, like air roots and stuff, um, aerial roots. Um, for example, this is the pink princess that I chopped up. It was a huge thing and I chopped up in fours and I repotted it at the same time as I repotted the silver cloud and the clear pot and these guys are still in their clear pots and are doing fine because they don't mind their roots being exposed I suppose. Bit of condensation, nothing, you know, they're happy, they look happy. So yeah, I've learned that from now on if I get a climber I could probably either put it in a paper pot or a clear pot and if I've got a crawler who you know, crawls on the ground and is used to not having roots exposed, I will definitely put it in an opaque pot. So yes, anyways, thanks for watching. That's all for today and I'll see you in my second video. Bye!